Hi, I'm Shay Scaletti. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and stay standing for the National Anthem. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the National Anthem. Would Kimberly Cobian and all the student speakers please join me, student speakers, if you could line up on the ramps. That awesome band over there is our sixth grade band and a couple seventh graders. They did not play music as of the start of the year and have come so far along. So congratulations again to our Eagle Band. Thank you for being here. Student speakers, if you could just line up on the ramps and then Kimmy, if you could join me on stage. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos maestros, familiares, compañeros y todos los que están presentes y especialmente a nuestros padres, que sin ustedes este día no sería posible. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho por nosotros. Con su apoyo nos pusimos las pilas y sí se pudo. Yo no conozco la historia de cada uno de mis compañeros, pero sé que detrás de cada uno hay unas personitas que se sacrificaron para que este día fuera posible. A mis padres que llegaron sin nada y me dieron todo. Hoy no solo celebramos a los graduados, sino que también a ustedes padres por todos sus sacrificios, a los que trabajan de sol a sol, a los que dejaron su país por un mejor futuro. Hoy no estoy, estoy orgullosa de todas las personas que tienen o comparten una historia como la mía. Gracias. Thank you, Kimmy. Well, good evening, students and families and staff. My name is Dan Stearns. I'm the principal of Eagle Peak Middle School. I want to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Buenas tardes, estudiantes y familias. Mi nombre es Dan Stearns. Yo, yo soy el director de Eagle Peak Middle School. Y les doy la bienvenida a nuestra ceremonia de graduación. We have some special guests on the stage. Could you please give a round of applause to Superintendent Cuban, Ukiah High Assistant Principal James Snyder, Assistant Superintendent Katie Summer, and Trustee B. Arkin. You can wave to the crowd. <laughs> Trustee Arkin never misses, and I think we forgot her perfect attendance um, plaque, but we'll have to get that for next year. So B, again, thank you for coming to every single thing. No pressure, you don't always have to, but we do appreciate the sport, especially of Redwood Valley. Again, want to welcome families and friends this evening. We have a lot to celebrate tonight. I hope we're really loud for all of our graduates and for the speeches and all the amazing things you're going to hear. Um, thank you to those who came a long way. Did anybody come by plane or out of state or out of country? Yes, dedicated. I see you. I see you. Thank you for supporting. 
Again, a big night of celebration. Someone saying hi. Like that? We're here for our three-hour ceremony. 59 minutes. That, that's what we're doing. We're doing 59 minutes. So let's make it high quality. Again, lots of cheering. Let's, let's get a move on. Um, on a quick, interesting note, before we hear from our speakers, as a, as a STEM school, we're starting to begin planning for our response to the ramifications of the impact of artif artificial intelligence. Like when you talk in your phone and say, I want to pet goldfish, and it shows up on your Facebook feed and all that stuff. So I asked the AI to write a speech to see if it could be better than these speeches. OK, here's what I got. Today is the day of celebration, reflection, anticipation, culmination. No, out, bad. Um, as we leave the familiar hallways of Eagle Peak Middle School, no, we don't have hallways, AI. We're open. You didn't get it. Last one. Let us embrace every opportunity that comes our way. I'm falling asleep, knowing that every experience, whether positive or negative, is a chance to grow and learn. That's called a sweeping generalization. If you had me as an English teacher, we try not to use too many of those, right? So the AI is no good. Um, and as powerful as it, as it can be, it's not going to capture real feelings, real soul, real heart and personality. So let's move on to our awesome eighth grade student speakers. And they're here, and we're going to start with Leah Blakely Swenson. If you would come up to the stage podium. Hello, families and friends. Thank you for coming, with, coming here to help celebrate us graduating and moving on to high school. This year has been great, and we've all shared some great memories. And we have had our lows, where we've had to deal with a lot of stress from schoolwork and things like that. But we have had our highs, like in spring sports when the softball girls beat Pomelita twice, which was great. <laughs> or when we had some great times with our friends, dressing up for Spirit Week, like how Chase and Ryder did, went all out on Class Color Day, like Natty, Vani, Caitlin, Taya, and so many others. And um, at dances, we've had so many great times where we got to sing our hearts out, and we've had so many great memories, and I wanted to thank everyone and for all the memories that we have made this year. So thank you, everyone. Julia, you're a star. All right, next we have Eli Cohen. Today we stand before you to pay tribute to the individuals who have made profound impacts on our lives at school. One such teacher is Mr. Lucchetti, our math teacher, who has made an indelible mark on our education and academic growth. He has been a teacher who has become an invaluable mentor, guide, and friend to all of us. And even though he arrived in the middle of the year, that did not stop him from making up for lost time and furthering our knowledge above and beyond what it would be. When Mr. Lucchetti stepped into our classroom at the middle of the year, Little did we know that we were about to embark on not only a successful math year, but we were going to have a teacher who really took the time to get to know each and every student. I remember when I was struggling to understand factoring, Mr. Lucchetti took the time to help me understand it before our unit test. And it wasn't just his knowledge of the subject that impressed us. It was his ability to bring math to life, making it accessible and even enjoyable for every student. Thank you, Mr. Lucchetti. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Mr. Lucchetti. Next, we have Caitlin San Diego and Taya Alt, mystery teacher. Good evening, everyone. My name is Caitlin. And my name is Taya. Taking time to reflect on the last two years, seventh and eighth grade, it became quite obvious that one teacher in particular has made the biggest impact on our experience at Eagle Peak. She's supportive, yet challenging. She critiques us, but by way of constructive criticism. She's organized, responsible, and so reliable. Her follow-through is impeccable. She's clever and creative, and never misses her morning Starbucks. Her reputation goes beyond the school, and even beyond the community, collecting accolades along the way. Although her students and jobs seem stressful, she maintains her young and beautiful look as always. And she may say that she doesn't have favorites, but her, our yearbook cover certainly tells a different story. 
If it isn't clear at this point who we are recognizing up here this evening, we will give you one more clue. While the students are important to her, it's her boys that hold the key to her heart. Mrs. Davidi, thank you for all that you've done to make the last few years memorable. Hugs, we need hugs. Hug it out. Hug it out. Good, good. In case you didn't hear, Miss Davini loves them and loves everybody. All right, next we have After Lunch with Beach Board, Savannah Cram. Now, where do I begin with Miss Beach Board? Having her after lunch, you would think it would be calm and relaxed. Well, it wasn't. Miss Beach Board will always be. <laughs> would always be there for us, being patient with our loudness and craziness, taking our jokes, making our ELA class enjoyable. She is an amazing teacher, and I was lucky to have her this year. She was one of the teachers who decided to stay with us throughout the school year. Thank you, Miss Beachboard. Thank you, Savannah, for honoring Miss Beachboard. Next, we have Natalia Pedrotti with a speech entitled "What Life Brings." Good evening. I've been chosen to discuss challenges or struggles we face this year. When originally tasked with this topic, I wasn't sure how to wrap my mind out around anything outside of the word COVID, or if I could really pinpoint what this topic would be about. Struggles can be as simple as finding the strength to get out of bed in the morning after long practices or late night homework, or let's be real for a sec, even those nights we stayed up way too late playing video games. They can be financial, they can be emotional, and they can be physical. Phones and social media, yikes. Do we even really need to discuss further? Who rates who? Who responds the fastest? Who's on your best friends list? And who posted a photo with who? Let's take a second and talk about those mountainous struggles. You know, the elephant in the room. How about losing a loved one? Dealing with addiction? Physical and mental abuse? Suicide? Fires? Depression? And anxiety? These struggles have touched our class one way or another. Struggles for our generation may be far different from the past, but what they have in common will never change. If you ask someone here this evening about their struggles in life, I guarantee they would have plenty to share. However, what would be worth noting is how they got through them. I can guarantee you the following have helped. Compassion, kindness, respect, determination, friendship, and love. Experiencing struggles right now teaches us about life. Life will not hand you perfect. Life will throw you some curveballs you may be ready for and some you will not be. What counts is how you move forward and get through these struggles. Today, we're putting one foot in front of the other and taking the next step. Let's get through these struggles and life together as the class of 2027. Thank you, Natty. Next, we have Aliyah Badagan. Testing, testing. Hello, my name is Aliyah Baragon, and I would like to share with you some challenges I have had with school. I can personally say that I really struggled with due dates, staying in class, and testing anxiety. But nevertheless, I'm still here giving a graduation speech. Testing was my worst nightmare. Uh, with the end of the year approaching, most of us understand the challenge that can come along with state testing. With every tear I cried due to testing anxiety, I still woke up the next day ready to test again. And with every upcoming due date, my life just continued to gain stress. Even though most assignments were turned in late, I still put my best effort into each and every one. At the beginning of the year, in classes, I also found it difficult to stay in class when I didn't know if the teacher I saw yesterday would still be there. I sincerely appreciate and admire every single teacher that made it through this year with us. After looking back on all my middle school years at Eagle Peak, I've come to the realization that all my hard work and bad days have paid off in the end. And I can proudly say that staying in class is now no longer a problem. Thank you and congrats to all my fellow classmates for making it this far, as well as making my middle school years unforgettable. To see all of your faces here tonight makes me overjoyed and proud of how all of y'all's hard work has paid off. Good night and good luck to class of 2027. That is a great message. Thank you, Aaliyah. Next, we have Brianna Goodson. Remember in class when? I'm sure 
shorter than only <laughs> I just wanted to start off by welcoming everyone tonight and thank you for coming and a huge shout out to all the staff members. <laughs> so I wanted to start off with thanking Mr. Barrett. Oh, let me tell you, he has made my year the best because in my first period class, I did not have any friends. All my other friends were in algebra and this girl right here is not good at math. <laughs> so Mr. Barrett has always made it his goal to go out of his way and make jokes about kids not being woken up in the morning by calling us all enthusiastic and to tell us to calm down and not raise our hand at the same time. No one rose their hand. And a huge shout out to Chase and Nico for competing for this thing that Mr. Barrett called a good noodle. That was a huge thing in first period. And then a huge shout out to Frank Alicious. Frankie is our PE teacher, or as most of us would call him, our best friend. He joins in for every PE game without fail, and it has to make it his pride and joy to beat Mateo Munez. And then Miss Divini. That woman has been there through my tears, my laughs, and all of my breakdowns. <laughs> Though she did sometimes not warn us when she was not going to show up, she still made it her goal to post on Google Classroom and give us her reasons. And then finally, one of my favorite teachers, Ms. Abajian, who took over after six science teachers. Six. And trust me when I say that was a hard road. Even if she did forget my name and me, Madison Duke, and Kylie Fowles had to tape it to her desk, <laughs> she still made it her goal to make everyone's time in the classroom fun. Even though she did have problems with certain students, she still made it her goal to try and get along with them. And finally, our math teacher, he took over halfway through the year after a teacher who didn't really know much, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> and let's just say he rode all the way to Six Flags and back on a bus full of noisy children. Even I wouldn't do that. And then it's, uh, my seventh period class was a hectic, and I feel really bad for Miss Beachborn. When we weren't joking about her boyfriend and when he was going to propose, we were gaslighting her into thinking that the classroom was filled with all smart students and kids who didn't joke around. And boy, was she wrong. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Thank you, Brianna, for be being very real there. That was, that was fun. Okay, finally, we have Alina Castro Mejia. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hello and good afternoon to family, friends, and family of graduates. It is an honor to be able to stand here in front of you all. At this time, I would like to thank everyone that pushed me to this moment, my friends, family, God, but especially my best friend, Roxana Mejia. <laughs> my mother always pushed me, even when I was on my lowest point. Always makes my day so much better with just a smile. Every little... <laughs> Every little thing she did helped me more and more each day to make my school year so much easier. In October of 2022, I moved here to Ukiah. I started half of my eighth grade year at Eagle Peak Middle School. I thank each and every teacher for helping me achieve all the accomplishments I've, I've accomplished to this day. I would also like to thank my dad. Even though he is far away, he has always showed me love and support. Uh, 
Coming here without a clue of who I was or what was coming, moving from a big city to a small town with my two sisters and a single mother made me feel like my life would be harder and harder as the days go by. But it was the total opposite. When I first got to Eagle Peak Middle School, I made friends really quickly. I got along with everyone. My, friend, my grades increased, and I felt like I got smarter by the minute. Moving, uh, yeah, moving to the school helped me see all the good things that can come to life when you actually try your hardest. Thank you to all student teachers for welcoming, to Eagle Peak, welcoming me to Eagle Peak Middle School. That is a great message, Alina, and I know we're lucky to have you join us mid-year. And what a great tribute to however, every, how everybody embraced you. All right, at this point, if you are an eighth grade band member, if you could please join the Eagle Band for our performance. If you are a web leader, lots of transitions here. If you could line up on the ramps behind me. Once again, web leaders, please line up on the ramps behind me. Eighth grade band members, please join the Eagle Band. Mr. Goldie, if you could join us real quick so we can award our um, student, our Award our music award for our music student. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here. I have one award for one very bright student in my band class. Starting this whole journey on a screen with a lowly recorder, making him, him the bright spot of my every day during those pandemic digital years. Becoming, in, becoming a great clarinet player and going into the high school band to be one of the greatest clarinets I've ever taught, Ollie Adams. Just, just run, Ollie, because we know you're athletic too, and you're a musician. It dedicated all the time. All right, so again, this is primarily our introductory band, primarily sixth graders, but now they're joined by some of their seventh grade classmates. We also have some sixth graders or seventh graders in the, in the group. Julian on the drums, I know that. So go ahead, Mr. Goldie, when you're ready.
Let's see if the pizza made it for the sixth graders. Kip, do we got pizza? Hopefully it made it. All right, so, um, okay, it made it. So Eagle Band, you can depart with your instruments to get checked out and organized over in the band room. Eighth graders, you're gonna be returning to us and then we are going to start acknowledging our web students. Good evening. We are recognizing the following students because of their participation in mentoring our fifth grade students. Our mentoring program is called WEB and it stands for where everybody belongs. These eighth graders have been working with Mrs. Adams, guiding the fifth graders and showing them the way to succeed in middle school and how to balance academics, sports, and social structure. On their plaque, it reads, an old man walked along a shore littered with thousands of starfish, beached and dying after a storm. A young child was picking them up and flinging them back into the ocean. Why do you bother? The old man asked. You're not saving enough to make a difference. The young child picked up another starfish, sent it spinning back to the water and said, it made a difference to that one. Web leaders, you have made a difference. We love you and we thank you. Ollie Adams. Anaí Andrade Gallegos. Elijah Cohen. Ashlyn Donahue. Jesus Garcia Mendez. Hannah Keller. Ethan Kelly. Marisol Lopez Ceja. Jose Luna Macias. Savannah McClure. Lillian McKee. Christopher Medrano. Mateo Muñoz. Natty Pedrotti. Kevin Pulido Beltran. Kalel Ruiz. Simone Spangenberg. Lena Strickland. And Christabel Zhao. Great job, web leaders. Thank you, Mrs. Carlson, our assistant principal. Sorry, I didn't introduce you. Um, we've been working together for 50 years. Um, and thank you, web leaders. Teachers, if you're giving an award, if you'd please join me on the stage on the ramp. Um, the teachers love each other so much that they all sat together, even though they were supposed to sit on both sides, kind of. So they just love each other. And um, we're now gonna hear them honor some of our students for academic awards. Okay, and we're starting off with ELD and Language Arts, and I believe Miss Beachboard is gonna handle those awards. Talk right into it. Good evening. 
We'll start with ELD. The following students are receiving awards for outstanding performance and achievement in English language development. This first student has massively improved her ELD skills this year. She actively participates in every lesson and is determined not only to succeed, but excel in ELD and the rest of her classes. This award goes to Kimmy Kobian. The second recipient has also very much improved his ELD skills this year. He's a conscientious student who always wears a smile on his face and has a hardworking attitude. He always approaches his work and his interactions with teachers and his peers with a great sense of humor. This award goes to Brian Robles Guerrero. for ELA. The following students are receiving awards for outstanding academic performance and for always embodying Eagle Peak's core virtues and being responsible in ELA class. This first student shows up to class every day with a smile on her face, always ready to learn. Her kindness shines through in everything she does, and I have been continually impressed with her quality of work and how it has improved throughout the year. This first recipient of our ELA award is Christabel Zhao. The second student receiving our ELA award has an outstanding work ethic. The way she conducts herself in class is perfectly, perfectly representative of our school's virtues, and I can always look to her if I need an active listener or an eager participant. This award goes to Ashlyn Donahue. Right this way, Ashlyn. Wherever you want to go, you're having a big night, second award, you're doing great. All right, congrats again, Ashlyn. Now for mathematics, the man who rode the bus. He's old like me, back and forth to Six Flags. He's not, he's not in his 20s, but he still did it. Mr. Lucchetti. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I want to start off by saying we had a lot of students work very hard, made some great gains in math, um, excelled, and I'm really proud of you guys. You worked really hard. We had some catching up to do, but we did it. So good job, guys. Um, I had a couple students that really stand, stood out. Uh, the first one, um, really quiet in a algebra class, um, turned in all his assignments, and even would correct me when I got a problem wrong. Uh, outstanding achievement, Jose Luna Macias. My second student I'd like to recognize, again, a student that was spot on from day one, um, did, a, did all her assignments, just really excelled, really paid attention, um, really did well, Simone Spangenberg. All right, great work, Simone. All right, for all of you sports fans, I'm Colleen N. Audible. With the following students, please join us on the back of the stage near the ramp. 
The following students, Lillian McKee, Eli Cohen, Nico Capri, Lena Strickland, Carter Rhodes, Natty Pedrotti, Jimani Zazueta, and Giselle sandoval Guerra, Leah Blakely Swenson, and Cash Kephart. Just chill in the back. We'll see what happens here. We'll move on to social studies with Mr. Barrett and his awards. Okay. All right, tonight I have two awards to present for outstanding achievement in social studies. The first student I'd like to present my award to has an encyclopedic knowledge of history, a fantastic sense of humor, and he has an overwhelmingly positive attitude in and out of the classroom. I'd like Elijah Cohen to join me on stage to accept the award for Outstanding Achievement in Social Studies. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Eli. Okay, the next student I'd like to present my award to is dependable, hardworking, and kind. She's an excellent role model to those around her, and she too has a positive attitude in all that she does. I'd like Lily McKee to join me on stage to accept the award for Outstanding Achievement in Social Studies. All right, great job, Lillian. Next, we have the teacher that walked 40 miles plus on ice and snow to get to school. No joke, the story went viral. Miss Sebastian, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Uphill, downhill, snow and ice. Thank you again. Let's hear uh, from you about our science awards. This first student displayed self-discipline and the ability to make responsible choices in support of his academic learning. He has been an active participant in class sharing his thinking and helping to increase the understanding of scientific concepts for himself and classmates. He was also an inclusive community member, helping to create a supportive learning environment. This science award goes to Nico Capri. This student demonstrated genuine curiosity and enthusiasm for learning. She effectively articulated her understanding of scientific concepts in her written responses and asked thoughtful questions. She also earned an A or A plus in science each quarter of this school year. This science award goes to Lena Strickland. Okay, next we have physical, physical education. Let me try to say that right. Physical education awards. And Miss Alicia. That's a lot of awards. Okay. This student represents the true meaning of student athlete. He understands the goals and outcomes of physical education while encouraging others to participate to their full potential. He shows up prepared and ready to attack any challenge thrown his way. Carter Rhodes. STEM award. I got the other PE award. Oh, sorry, other PE award. It's Frankie Frankalicious. Is that what you're calling him now? That's just great. Sorry. Mr. Garcia, go ahead. <laughs> All right, this student comes prepared, dressed, and ready to do physical activities. She is very kind and compassionate to everyone she comes in contact with. She's a great role model for her peers on how an exceptional student should be. Congratulations, Natty Pedrotti. Okay, next we have our STEM awards from Mr. Vidola. Let's do this. I think I know how to use this. 
All right, I was writing uh, uh, the speech here about these these two people, and they have very similar qualities. So uh, I'm going to call them up here for the most outstanding students in robotics for 2023. They are Giselle Sandoval Guerrera and Giamani Zazueta. As they make their way up here, um, I want to give a couple of things about them. They're both highly self-motivated. They quietly complete projects and assignments. I have a award for you. Just hang out up here. Let them take pictures of you as I'm talking. Yeah? Don't, don't hide over here. Come over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you are. Nice. All right. Um, they are also consistently cooperative. They, uh, I generally appreciate the cool and composed presence uh, maintained throughout the school year. Your high school teachers will love that about you. Best wishes to you in high school and beyond. Congratulations. And next we have our Digital Media Awards presented by Ms. Davini. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, I have the honor of getting to have digital media or photography for our students. And the first award that I'm going to give is for one of my yearbook students who I have had for the last two years. And to be honest with you, this class is so amazing that I could have given 100 awards <laughs> with all of the students that have been in my class over the last few years. I love them so much. I cried yesterday, like a lot. Um, <laughs> they remember. Um, but I want to recognize a student for yearbook who we couldn't have done it without. She spent lots of time in my classroom after school on her own time editing our yearbook, doing extra pages, collecting photos to make sure that every one of our eighth graders was featured in the yearbook at least two or three times. Um, we could not have done it without her. She made my job easier. So Leah, this one's for you. My second award is for a photography student who I felt like heard every word that I said in my class. I feel like I could ask him about the concepts we were learning. He could always tell me. He has a wonderful eye for photography and I always loved seeing the projects that he would complete. So Cash, this one's for you. All right, congrats, Cash. <laughs> that guy's good. That's why he got the award. Okay, we're going to call another audible. Would Ollie, Kevin Polito, Beltran, Matteo Munoz, Moki James, Leah, Arias Spears, Aliyah Barragan, Daniel Alvarez Espinoza, Ray, Baylor, Valentino, Brianna, Brianna Goodson, Michael Aguado, Krista Madrano, Ollie, and Jose Luna Macias, if you'd come to the back of the stage, please. All right, now we have our Boys and Girls Athletics Award. Where's Mr. Murray? We have to get him up here. S students on the count of three, let's give this guy a big round of applause. Mr. Murray. Go ahead, Alicia, while Ms. Mr. Murray's coming up. Okay. okay, so we have quite a few female athletes in this class, but two in particular that I really, truly want to recognize. This first athlete is one of the most hardworking students to come through Eagle Peak. Her passion for sports and competition are more than any coach or teacher could ask for. Not only is she great competitively, but her characteristics are so genuine. Congratulations, Moki James. <laughs> this next athlete is one of the most athletic and determined female athletes Eagle Peak has. She's constantly challenging her skills and uses her competitive instinct to be better than what she was before. 
Her kind heart and welcoming personality brighten up any student and staff around her. Congratulations, Leah Blakely Swenson. Okay, we have, well, we want to be respectful. So, what, so let's do Mr. Frank Alicious. And um, if you could be joined by Mr. Murray as we give out some of these awards, please. Come on, Mr. Murray. You want to give out? Mr. Murray substituted in a lot of classes this year and really was, saved us a whole bunch of times. All right, this athlete excels in multiple sports and maintains a positive attitude. He's one of the fastest kids in our school with a 5.59 mile time. Every sport he plays, he surpasses expectations and is one of the most competitive students. Congratulations, Ollie Adams. Woo! All right, this next student or this next athlete thrives in soccer and has a true passion for the game. He is very competitive while displaying outstanding sportsmanship. His humor is contagious and he's such a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Kevin Polito. All right, this last athlete, when he puts his mind to competing, he's one of the best athletes at this school. His main sport is soccer and shows solid work ethic to be an extraordinary player. His joking personality makes it every day a new adventure. Congratulations, Mateo Munez. If you played sports for Eagle Peak this year, please stand up. Congratulations, Mateo. Stand up if you played sports for us. Let's give our athletes a round of applause. One of our best years ever for sports. Great job, athletes. All right, at this point, we have our school spirit awards. Nobody dressed up more. Nobody yelled more. Nobody was there at all the rallies, doing all the games and everything else. Araya Spears, Aliyah Barragan, school spirit. Congratulations. Attendance, nobody showed up more than these two students. Daniel Alvarez Espinoza, Ray Espinoza Mendez. Congratulations, Daniel and Ray. They show up. <laughs> Citizenship, I appreciate and the staff appreciates, and parents, you'll appreciate this, from your kids that are about to be recognized, the manners, the civilities, not always staring at their phones. They're really great, wonderful, polite students. Our citizenship awards go to Baylor McDougall, Valentino Hernandez, Brianna Goodson. Lots of love, Brianna. We have the Principal's Award. These two students brighten everybody's day every single day. This is kind of an award for a student that does so many great things on our campus on a daily basis. We have Michael Aguado, Christopher Madrano. Next, we have two students that had all A's, mainly all A pluses for three years. That's very hard to do. Want to recognize those students? Ollie Adams, Jose Luna Macias. Next, we had two parents that put together so many awesome memories, trips. Listen, students, please. Putting the principal hat on. Um, 
PTO put together the, the graduation party. It's like this 30 item list. Thank you so much. Katie Bader, Alexis Pedrotti, come on up. Yes, you're getting an award. Where's Katie, where's Alexis? You have to come up on the stage. I'm sorry. You also have to keep helping us next year. I'm sorry. But seriously, thank you so, so much. We appreciate you. At this time, we are ready to give our diplomas to our students. So teachers and staff, if you could help us out. Yes, again, the applause for Katie and Alexis is well-deserved. We are ready, row one, if someone can help cue row one, we're ready for diplomas, ready to recognize our students. I just need help to get it going fast. Nico Capri. Carter Rhodes, Owen Nielsen, Gavin Mello, Baylor McDougal, Maverick Foster, Braden Banks, Xavier Roseberry, Mc Mackenzie Denbesti, Kylie Fowles, Madison Duke, Ava Arkalian, Kenny Carlson, Ashlyn Donahue, Ray Otero, Levi Hildebrand, Jose Luna, Ronan Kidd, Alex Luna, Damian Phillips, Gerardo Ayala, Jaidi Mendoza Lopez, Carmen Carrero, Eamon Asfor, Stella Herbert, Vani White, Madison Garcia, Justin Keene, Wyatt Foster, John Snyder, Chan Spray, Brian Robles Guerrero, Josh Robles, Antonio Gill, Joel Lamas, Joel Yamas, sorry, Joel, William Mazia III, Evan Stafford, Valentino Hernandez, Jimani Zazueta, Stormy Nolan, Abigail Allred, Riley Mueller, 
Leah Blakely Svensson. Alan Rodriguez. Caitlin Stanley. Maria Valavinos. Kimmy Cobian. Alina Castro Mejia. Sofia Garcia. Tivo Fries. Kevin Gonzalez. Clayton Max. Christian Gray. Gustavo Solis. Valentin Martinez. Cash Kephart. Kevin Beltran. Mateo Munoz. Ian Miramontes. Chris Madrano. Daniel Alvarez. Brandon Lozano. Nathan Rodriguez. Sebrin Roston. Dario Anguino. Melbourne Miller. Nayeli Soriano. Natty Pedrotti. Taya Alt. Caitlin San Diego. Annie DeGallier. Simone Spangenberg. Alia Baragan. Taylor Kelly. Elijah Cohen. Brianna Goodson. Araya Spears. Moki James. Lena Strickland. Savannah Cram. Anais Cisneros. Olivia Santa Coloma. Lucy Lunsford. Marisol Lopez. Isabella Martin. Alia Estrella. Gabe Ortiz. Benjamin Nemeth. Elaine Ramos. Giselle Sandoval. Caleb Archer. Andy Seha. Kylie Scarborough Holly. Christabel Zhao. Lillian McKee. Savannah McClure. Ethan Kelly. Hannah Keller. Margarita Ortega. Ollie Adams. Ryder Timothy Neville. Isaac Garcia Tinajero. Jonathan Esquivel Torres. Dylan Bader. Julian Gonzalez. Chase Galetti. Robert Tyler Carippo. Colton Gaylord. Michael Aguado. Analia Ford. Here's the loud one. Gloria Zacharias. Roxana Jaramillo. Emma Isol. Kimberly Olay. Sophia Isol. Ray Espinoza. Valerie Moreno. Micah Sullivan. Brianna Robles Guerrero. Evelyn Medina. Zoe Eubanks. Emily Matthews. Colton Gorley. 
Ana E. Andrade. Cal L. Ruiz. Jesus Garcia Mendez. Gabriel Wagner. Aaron Lepresti. Jacob Robles. Randy I.K. Flores. Lillian Hernandez Baragan. Landon Garland. Here's my bud, Jaden Zamora. At this point in our ceremony, I would like to state to our superintendent, Deb Cuban, also Mr. Snyder from Ukiah High School and trustees of the Board of Education, that these students have met graduation requirements to enter high school. Superintendent Cuban and Mr. Snyder, if you could join us at the podium here. Thank you so much. Wow, your kids have great handshakes. Good job, parents and grandparents and family members. Just a quick note. First, I want to thank the staff. Um, it's been a, a good year. You have been resilient and amazing. So thank you so much, staff, for all you do. And to the parents, my own children were here maybe three years ago, but doing the drive through glad we're not doing that anymore. Um, and now they're going to be seniors at Ukiah High. So it goes by like that. And love your kiddos and um, enjoy. And just congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Superintendent Cuban. And now a word from Ukiah High Assistant Principal James Snyder. All right, good evening. My name is James Snyder. I'm Assistant Principal at Ukiah High School. And on behalf of the Ukiah High faculty and administration, it is an honor to stand here before you tonight and officially welcome the future class of 2027 to Ukiah High School. Eighth graders, you are now officially high school freshmen. While you will always be Eagles, you now have the distinct honor of joining us as Wildcats. You're entering the final chapters of your educational career before you head out into the real world, and these next four years are going to go by in the blink of an eye, so make every day count. At Ukiah High, we pride ourselves on four main pillars. Integrity, compassion, productivity, and creativity. We expect you to do what is right, show love towards one another, excel in all that you do, and find what inspires you. We have high expectations for you because we know you can rise to the occasion, just like you have tonight. You have much to be proud of, so hold on to these accomplishments and carry them with you into high school. To my future Wildcat parents, continue to stay involved, come out to our events, get involved, ask questions, get ready for the excitement of the next four years. Congratulations, class of 2027. Would the eighth grade class please stand? Congratulations, you're now dismissed. Great job.